first step when working with any horse and introducing them to something new is to make sure they're in a great mental place where they're relaxed, focused, and ready to learn. Just like a person, if they're excited, distracted, or scared, it's hard to learn. So the first step here is simply to ask Zeus to release. He's familiar with this exercise, and he's learned through repetition to let go of tension and also that good things happen when we work together. Here you'll see that Zeus hasn't moved as I left to go adjust the camera. He's slightly turned away, but the great thing is I can cue him to turn his attention in toward me. Again, I make sure that Zeus is relaxed. If I see in his eye that he's nervous, then it's to our mutual benefit that I take a couple seconds to reassure him. As a review, I pick up a front foot and clean it out. Sharon and Lenny from Happy Hoof and I have spent several sessions with Zeus working with his feet. He's had his front feet trimmed, but he's very guarded and shy about his hind legs. Today is going to be something entirely new for him. Now I ask Zeus to pick up a hind leg. We've played with this a few minutes each day, generally while he's eating. The point of that is he's free to leave. He's not tied up, so it's entirely his choice to stay. That way it's fairly easy to see where his comfort level is. If he's uncomfortable, he simply walks away. What I like about this video is that it's fairly obvious that Zeus is not only comfortable with me, but he's demonstrating his trust in me. Here, Zeus has shown his sensitivity. He steps his hind end around. I praise him, however, because he did what I asked. He picked up his leg. He needs to know that his try was successful. If I scolded him for stepping away, he'd associate picking his leg up with being scolded and I'd have to restart the exercise. And just look at the result. I simply stand by his hind, put my hand down, and he voluntarily lifts his leg up. This is because a few seconds ago he learned that picking up his foot was the right answer. I like this moment here because it shows how smoothly Zeus moves in response to my request. Stepping in towards me was a huge mental barrier for Zeus, and he's clearly overcome that now. You'll notice that I don't have the halter around Zeus's nose. It's simply looped around his neck. There are two reasons for this. First, he's exceptionally shy about the tip of his nose. There is no need to compound his insecurity by adding something else to the training session. Secondly, Zeus does not feel restricted, and without a halter, it's impossible for him to be pulled on the face. For now, it's very important to me that Zeus not feel confined or tied up. I want him to stay with me simply because it's his choice to do so. Here, Zeus becomes uncomfortable and steps his hind end around. I'm actually pleased by this, because his reaction could have been to run off. He's comfortable in my space, but he's uncomfortable with where my hand was. This is fine. This is a learning process for both of us. I'm learning where his comfort zone is and seeking to expand it. Zeus is learning that I have no ill intent and that his tries consistently result in success. Again, I take a few seconds to check in with Zeus. Even though he had a scary moment, he doesn't stay alarmed. He's still with me and shows that by turning his head in towards me and giving me his eye and ear. I maintain that connection as I walk again toward his hind leg and ask him to pick it up. A great try and a great success. I'm pleased to see on the video that Zeus watches me walk to his hind, but he stays comfortable. He moves his leg around a bit and I follow it with my hand. When he lifts his leg, there's no pressure. If he puts his leg down, he'll feel my hand, but I'm not pulling on it. I start by simply picking the snow out of his foot. Now here comes the test. This is the first time nippers have been used on Zeus's back feet. This will also be the first time he's been asked to rest his foot on my leg and relax. I just love the look of this horse's eye here. I'm not sure at this point how Zeus is going to react. I'm really just working with what Zeus will give me, and realistically, at this point, anything he does, I'll count as a success. So I'm settling for him just to keep his leg extended. 
What surprises me though, is that he ends up completely relaxing his leg. However, I settle for him just resting his leg against mine, as opposed to a more proper position where his foot would rest in my lap. This way I can stand further to the side and there is much less contact on his leg and thus reducing the chance he'll pull back if he becomes sensitive. I let Zeus move around a bit and then give it another try. My hope is that we can complete this foot, but we've already surpassed my expectations. So anything from here on is a bonus. I'm very attentive to his mental state and when he's had enough I'll honor that and end the session. Zeus becomes uncomfortable here and takes his leg away and steps over. I maintain the feel of my hand on his leg for as long as I can. I'm not attempting to pull his leg back or hold him there, as that would certainly be a dangerous move. However, I want him to feel my hand on his leg throughout his movements and realize that I'm still with him even though he's moving. Note that Zeus is moving his hind end away as I walk towards it. I'm not concerned about this, and mentally I'm just projecting a woe. I stick with him, he stops, and I go back to the task. Isn't that great how Zeus is into this now and just lifts his leg up for me? At this point I'm fairly comfortable with Zeus resting his leg on mine. His feet are fairly long and it's a bit of work with the nippers to trim him. I'm super impressed at how Zeus is maintaining his composure, totally relaxing his leg while I work. my friend are amazing. Hey, you are amazing Zeus. Look at this. Hey, look at this. Look at this good boy. Hey, look at you. Awesome dog. Awesome dog. I give Zeus a little break. I'd sure like to get his right foot done, but I'm not going to push it if he's had enough for today. Zeus and I have a little game called left side, right side. He has been very insecure of presenting his right side. In the past, it's taken me some time before I can actually be on that side. Asking him to turn in front of me from left to right was something he mentally couldn't do. So we developed this little game. Today, he excels at it. You can see he's a little nervous about turning in front of me, becoming tense in the jaw and neck. But he almost immediately relaxes and doesn't make any move to leave. 
Again, I spend some time with him on this side, just taking him to a very peaceful place before we start something new. Here this is great. Zeus just offers up his right hind with the feel of my hand on his leg. This is a perfect place to start. Obviously this is not the most comfortable position for me to be in. I don't have his foot high enough to sit on my thigh. My concern is that manually placing his foot at this point will be too much stimulus for him. In hindsight, I probably could have pulled it off. However, my thinking in the moment was that I was close to finishing a very needed trim job and his performance thus far has been spectacular. I am more comfortable with Zeus that he won't pull away and that he'll maintain his foot position. This allows me to use both hands on the nippers, making that job a bit easier. This time, I'm fairly confident that Zeus will pick up his foot and hold it nicely. With that expectation, Zeus assumes some responsibility and accountability. In short, I've delegated the task of lifting and maintaining his foot position to him because he's demonstrated his competency in doing so. This is, for some elements of his training, the path that we will go down. As he becomes more comfortable and competent at something, he earns the responsibility for it. This way we build a solid base. Today we raised the bar and Zeus met that challenge and excelled. If it's not obvious, All I'm done, pretty proud friend. of this horse. All done. What a fantastic day. See?